Get Rich Slow with John Wolf. Hey, today I'm doing our Tuesday morning update and there are some interesting new developments. So first of all, I'm a loan officer in Oregon and Washington. So if you need a home loan, interested in a refinance, please reach out to me. Um, and even if not, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more great stuff. So anyways, first of all, I just wanna give an update to the bond market. Now again, the bond market is really behind what drives mortgage interest rates. And we've taken kind of a departure from that um, as the Federal Reserve has just held the line on what the price for those bonds should be. But I actually noticed this yesterday and today, there's been a little bit of slippage on that. So that's kind of interesting. Now, again, the mortgage prices that are available to us now aren't really reflective of where this chart is. Um, it's the, the difference between how prices were interpreted back here and how prices are interpreted here have a lot to do with the new risk and the uh, necessary adaptations to the federal government's uh, new policies on being able to uh, delay payments and the rules behind that and then how lenders will or will not be punished because of that. But there's good news. Uh, the Fed um, and Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac have actually given really good guidance on that recently. So lenders can now properly assess risk. FHA did the same thing. Um, and like just for my company personally, I was really happy a couple days ago, they announced that we're bringing back some of the jumbo loan programs are now in effect. Um, and a bunch of the uh, kind of Oregon, Washington, a gazillion other states and cities, zero down and other special programs are also come back online, like the vast majority of them. I'm sure there's a few that haven't come back that I don't know about, but every single one I was interested in came back. Actually, a few that I was kind of shocked because I didn't think anybody cared about came back. So that's great, right? Um, so anyways, what I think that we're going to be seeing in uh, the mortgage markets is a continued lower interest rates for the next little bit. The first thing that's going to turn that around is I do think that there's going to be a huge spike in people taking advantage of refinances in the next month. And just the sheer volume of the people taking advantage of the great refinance rate is going to make the great rate not so great as we move into the future. So if you are thinking about doing a refinance soon, please get that rolling as soon as possible. Get all the paperwork fired through as soon as possible, because I do think that this is a window that is going to close. But on the other bright side, at the same time, everything people need to actually make original purchases happening is all getting better kind of all at the same time. Um, and I'm kind of getting feelers in the ether that most of the things that restricted the amount of refinances coming forward, or sorry, just loan approvals coming forward, uh, the new rules that were adaptate that were adaptations to the you know vast numbers of layoffs and also the Fed's new rules. It sounds like most of that's getting um, dissolved in the next few weeks, which is just phenomenal. So I think that we are actually going to be back to uh, super, we are at super low prices. Um, I think that we are getting back to business as usual, but I think the getting back to business as usual is actually going to force the prices to not be quite so phenomenal, uh, you know, within the next month. I, I don't think that they're going to be bad by any means. I think that they'll probably be good, but like right now they, and for the last few weeks, they've been phenomenal, phenomenal. And I think that that might end soon as enough refinances happen, because again, it's all this whole supply and demand thing. Um, and right now the Federal Reserve is holding the price, the line on price, but at a certain point, they're going to stop doing that. Um, and I think that that point might be when the sheer volume happens. Although when the sheer volume comes in, that might trip their, the Fed circuit breaker again. So we'll just be back to where we were right here with the super low prices. Um, but you do see that, you know, the Fed was holding a very steady line and it just let it drop. And then as markets are opening now, it's basically staying in the same place. So it could be that the Federal Reserve has just decided to do a slightly um, higher price target. And again, down here means that the bond is, as, as you go up here, the bond is more expensive to purchase. And as you go down here, the bond is less expensive to purchase, but what happens to interest rate is the opposite. As you go down here and the bond is 
less expensive to purchase, the interest rates actually go up. And as you go up here and the bond is more expensive to purchase, the interest rates actually go down. Um, super, con I, I, I always have to re-remind myself, that's super confusing. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. Always like, share, and subscribe. Have an awesome day. Bye.